YouTube, Phoebe Thompson here with our two newest contestants for kind of beauty pageant, but also we're too lazy to change. We have Riley. I. Nice introduction you got there. And then also we have Emily. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I attend GHS. I'm 14, but I'll be 15 on Wednesday. I was born Wednesday, May 29th. Maybe Wednesday. I don't really know if it was a Wednesday. I don't know if it was at like 1.59 p.m. a.m. Whatever the one is in the morning. And um, basically, I was born then. I enjoy softball and tacos and pizza. I hate reading. My best friends are Haley, Riley, Jesse, Caitlin, and Abby. I really like softball. I'm a catcher. I have guns for a throw. Um, I My favorite subject in school is Spanish. I really hate biology and if you're my biology teacher I really hate you um fifth hour is the worst too also if you're my art teacher hate you I'm really not artistic so that's that um I say that one of my favorite memories in my life was probably when I got stung by a bee because I got to sit on it which was really fun um also I really enjoy singing even though I'm not very good but it's like my talent so also I have really big thighs because so I just sit there, and I have like really big thigh muscles. So if you can tell, these are like big. Anyways, um, I like tacos. I don't think I already said that, but I only like the beef tacos. And my favorite thing from Taco Bell is a crunch wrap. Crunch wrap supreme with no sour cream because sour cream's for like animales, which is animals in Spanish. But gotcha, boys. All right, so basically, that's everything you need to know about me. Um. Are you done? Yes. About time. Also, one more thing. My Snapchat score is 398,000. So add me on Snapchat, E Hefner 2004. My Snapchat score is 627,307. Add me on Snap, R D E F E Y T E R 4. Thank you, ladies. Anyway, today we are going to be doing a beauty pageant type thing. Okay, so first we're going to be doing the interview round. Okay, hello Emily. Welcome to the interview round. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Please answer them as honestly as possible. And this will count for a large portion of the things. So the first question, pretty easy. Um, how do you handle stress? For me, I think stress is something that everyone has to deal with. So basically, I think the easiest way is this app and it's called mindfulness hashtag not spawn and basically it just gives you like 10 minutes a day for you to de-stress and everything you, you just sit in the dark in the quiet for 10 minutes a day and i feel like that's really important because a lot of people forget to live in the moment what's your biggest weakness for me my biggest weakness is definitely anxiety and stress do you have any huge regrets in life so far um honestly i feel like my, I don't really have any regrets just because I like to live with the motto that everything happens for a reason. And last question, who is your biggest role model and why? I think my biggest role model is probably, well I have two probably. One is my parents just because they teach me that no matter what you run into in life, you're always going to get through it, you just have to keep pushing through. And also, my softball coach because she's taught me that no matter what, also, if you persevere, if you work hard, you're going to get better, you're going to do everything you can to be the best version of who you can be. Thank you, Emily, for those amazing answers, and next up, we're going to have Riley. Hi, Riley. Hi. Okay, so I have a few questions for you. Um, okay. Our opponent, Emily, actually wrote them down just to see you did questions for her. Okay. What is your biggest accomplishment in life? My biggest accomplishment in life is probably me, my, like myself, because I don't think I would be here today if I didn't choose to st get out of my bubble and like actually try new things. So question number two, what would you say is your life motto? My life motto is probably you get what you give, because my dad has always told me that and it makes so much sense to me. Like I did it at first, but then he continued to say it to me and continued like throughout life is really brought to my attention like even this year because if I am completely rude to people I'm not going to be able to ask them for any favors because they're going to be like no you're rude to me and 
like then I am getting put back down again because I put them down. Like everything comes back to you in one way or another. How do you not let negativity get to you? I don't let negativity get to me by, I just remember who I am and I don't, I, I, people say like, I don't care what other people think about me, but like, I'm over here like, I obviously care what other people think, think about me. It gets to me, like it really does, but I just think about all my friends and family and all of the accomplishments I've had in life and I'm just like, why am I letting this person get to me if they're just going to be all negative on me? Okay, we just have one more question. Um, your opponent also got this question. So, who is your role model and why? Just like Emily, I have two role models and one of them is my parents because of course. And then my other um, greatest role model is probably my basketball coach because she, I was having really bad boy trouble and breaking down and crying at practice all the time. And she followed me to the bathroom one time and we literally just had like a great talk. Like, it was like, her life and my life were so similar. It, it was unbelievable that I met someone that was completely like me and I was just like, shut up, shut up, you coach. Okay, next up we have the talent portion. So first off, Emily is going to be doing some unusual tricks with her pet. Hello, I'm Emily and this is Roscoe. And he can jump through this hoop. It's insane, guys, I'm telling you. Ready, Roscoe? And then, I also can jump through the hoop. Riley doing a ventriloquism act. Hi, Polly. <laughs> How are you today, Polly? I'm on stage right now, Polly. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so the next round is going to be based on singing. Both of the competitors have prepared their own songs. Just kidding. They're totally doing improv. It's going to be hilarious. But um, this will be based on whose song is better on the spot. Okay, Emily. I'm going to... Can you please lower your shield? Okay, Emily. I'm going to give you a topic and you are going to have to write an original song about it that lasts 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, Wait. your topic is bottles. Bottles, bottles, they're plastic and bad, polluting our oceans, it's oh very, so very sad. Bottles, bottles, they make me sad, polluting our oceans and killing the turtles, oh no, the turtles, <laughs> oh no, the turtles, oh no. The turtles running round and round. The turtles running round and round. The bottles, the bottles, polluting our oceans. Polluting our oceans. Bottles are bad. Okay, Riley, are you ready? I've been born ready, but okay. Okay, Riley, your topic is stickers. Stickers, 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 stickers. You can put them in your scrapbook. Stickers, 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 stickers. You can put them on your car. They can say bad words. Stickers, stickers. <laughs> stickers are real with sparkly birds. Stickers, stickers, stickers. You can have them for your 
ears. <laughs> Peace out, stickers. Bottles. Bottles. Stickers. Bottles. Stickers. Bottles. stickers. Bottles. stickers.